Hey, as we approach the third week of Lent, I picked this crucifix um, here in our old hall or our gym because we're body, mind, and soul. And, uh, and so all of these uh, aspects of, of, our, of ourselves are, are being exercised in Lent. And uh, all, of, all of us, the whole person, is being uh, disciplined um, to become more like Christ. And actually, that's what I want to share with my message with all of you today is we're really it lent is all about becoming more like christ and i know there's a hurt and pain in our community right now uh people think different things of, uh about the same thing and um it's a time where i want to invite us now to focus on christ two ways that i want to encourage you to do that uh, is one on Wednesday evenings, we have prayer and praise and worship and adoration. If, if some of you are out there being like, well, you know, I don't, I'm not really into that music stuff and praise and worship. Well, it's basically what David did and the Psalms that he made before the Ark of the Covenant. That's what started temple worship. It's, it's, it, it, it is deep in our roots. It's not newfangled. It's not old fashioned, but maybe as St. Augustine said, ever ancient, ever new. And I want to invite you to come on Wednesday nights from 6 to 7 just to be in our Lord's presence with the gift of song and the beauty that that has to open our hearts and just to pour out your heart to Jesus. Um, there's, the, there's the gift of music at, 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 the, at the Wednesday nights from 6 to 7. And I just invite anybody and everybody to come and just tell Jesus, Jesus, here's where I'm hurting. Here's where our community's hurting. Um, here's where I'm asking you to heal. Here's where I'm asking you to enter. Here's my struggle. Lord, speak into this as you, as you stand there in his presence or sit or sing or whatever it is you do. Um, come to that. There's also adoration on Friday nights, but it's silent, and you're welcome to come to that as well. Um, the other thing I want to invite you to do is, is reconciliation. It's a time to examine ourselves, what's going on in our hearts, and where I need to, to be more like him. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. It doesn't matter what anybody else is saying. It's about where is he calling me to be more like him and where am I called to, to, to surrender this part, this aspect, this action, this word of mine uh, in my life to him. So come to Jesus. He is not the God of disunity or division, but he's the God of unity and communion. Come to Adoration on Wednesdays. See if you can go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation. God bless.